Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be looking at the creation of new blocks with the help of Odoo website module. The user will get the platform to manage and create new blocks within the website module. In Odoo, the block module works integrated with the website module. So make sure to install the block module from the Odoo app store. So here I am already installed the block module. After installing it, you will be able to see the block menu inside the website module of Odoo. And you can keep a record of all the blocks under this menu. And from this configuration menu of this module, you can configure different types of tags and tag categories using the corresponding options. And here the list of the blog posts include the details of the title, author, blog type, website, number of views, last contributor and the last updated details. And it is possible to alter the view of the uh, window according to the Canfon view also. Now let's discuss the configuration of a new block in the backend using the create button available in this window. And it will lead you to a new window where we can configure necessary information regarding the new block. So here we can complete each field given in the block creation window one by one. At first we need to select the block type from the given drop down menu. So uh, we can create a new block type from the configuration menu of the website module. And uh, this will categorize your blocks on the website which will help the audience to get the list of blocks included in a particular category. Then we can add the title and the subtitle of the blog in the respective field. Later, we can mention the suitable tags uh, for the block in this tags field. And it is possible to add multiple tags here. And here in this publishing option tab, we can add the name of the author of this particular block. Additionally, we can uh, record the creation date, publishing date, last contributor and the last updated details in this given spaces. And in order to increase the visibility of the blog post on the website, we can add the meta title, meta description and the meta key keywords under this SEO tab. So after completing all these steps, we can now publish your blog on the selected website. So uh, we can use the go to website button to publish the blog on your website and Odo will direct you to your website where we will be able to see the unpublished version of your blog. So here we can click on this block menu available in this website window. Here we can see all the blogs that have published. So you can see the travel related blogs, astronomy related blogs and the food related blogs that we have created now. And from here the user can add content to this blog and enhance the view with the help of editing tools from this front end. So you can add the main content of the blog in the given space after clicking on this edit button. So you can adjust uh, the font style, uh, size and the text alignment using this style tool and it is possible to add any links related to the blog in between the content using the styling tools. In order to design the blog post cover, you can click on the title of the blog and the corresponding style option will appear in the editing panel. And here you can set the background colors. Then we can add the picture or we can add an image uh, to this website page. Then uh, we can uh, choose the size as full screen, half screen or fit text. Then uh, we can choose the filter intensity as low, medium or high. Then here we can provide the tags. And uh, the user will get various snippets in the editing panel to customize the blog page. And once the editing is completed, we can click on the save button.
So this is the completed view of the blog on your website and you can click on the unpublished button to change the status to be published. And it is also possible to uh, make a blog from here. So you can see the options like page, blog post, event, forum, job offer, product, course and the appointment form. And When we comes to the blog menu, we can see uh, the published and the unpublished blogs under this menu. So Odoo offers several customizable options on this platform to make the page more attractive for the customers. And apart from this, we can also see the uh, details of the visitors in this website. For this, we can go to the website. And here we can see the visitors option. So click on that. And here we can see the visitors. So using these features, you can create and publish create content on your website and also we can see the visitors details. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.